What's up, it's your girl Nurse Shawnee here with a new video today. So today is an Ask Nurse Shawnee and this question came from a viewer here on YouTube and the question was, is postpartum nursing hard? So if you wanna know my answer and rationale for that question, keep watching. What's up, it's your girl, Nurse Shawnee. If you've been here before, what's up, girl? If you are new here, hey, girl, hey. Before I answer the question, is postpartum nursing hard? You should know that I am a labor and delivery slash postpartum nurse. I've been a nurse for 14 years. I love women's and infants nursing, which is why I've never really delved into anything else like ICU, med surge, tele, um, psych. None of those interested me. Actually, when I was in nursing school, I had aspirations of being a midwife. But once I got started in my career, life happened and I no longer had a desire to be a midwife, but I love the realm of women's and infants nursing. So that's just a little bit about me if you're new here. So do I think postpartum nursing is hard? I don't. So when I was a new grad nurse, I had the great opportunity of working on an LDRP, which is Labor Delivery Recovery Postpartum Unit. And those units kind of have faded away as you know, medicine has progressed. We went from, you know, having birthing wards to having more inclusive family-centered birthing experiences. And the LDRP model kind of faded out. I don't know why, I probably should research that. So I don't know why the model changed, but we kind of went to a model where there is a labor and delivery unit, and then there's a postpartum unit. And it probably is because you know, the LDRP, you learn everything, but everyone who works in maternal child nursing does not want to work L&D, or they may not want to work postpartum. So when I was a new grad, I did not like postpartum. It was my least favorite area to work in. When we came in, we were either assigned to labor hall, postpartum hall, or you were in the nursery with our babies. And our babies were, for the most part, healthy babies. They didn't require um, NICU care. So, you know, I got the experience in working in all those areas. But back then, my favorite was labor and delivery. Like I lived for, you know, the, the rush of being at a delivery and just all the feelings that you go through being at a delivery, like this magical time, helping a mom push a baby out or being there for a C-section. Like I really lived for, that experience. But as I have grown in my career, I have learned that I have grown this immense love for postpartum nursing. Like I no longer desire that adrenaline rush. Um, laboring with moms is so different than it was back when I was an active labor and delivery nurse. Like I got my orientation when I was a new grad with midwives. And the way that midwives practice versus physicians is often different. It's a different, like, just um, school of thought when it comes to delivering babies. And I loved how our midwives had a more gentle approach, not too aggressive with deliveries. Our unit in particular, where, where I worked as a new grad, we had a very low C-section rate. And so it was a great experience. But now there's so much evidence-based practice that has changed the way that we labor and deliver that it no longer, it's not exciting and it's not fun for me anymore. And so I found that because I had the experience, I could transition over into postpartum nursing. And as I have matured in my career, I actually love the educational component that comes with being a postpartum nurse. Now, I'm gonna give you some pros and cons about postpartum nursing versus labor and delivery from my experience and my perspective, okay? You ready? So let's start with the pros first. So I think that with postpartum nursing, you have so many opportunities for education with your families that you work with, with new parents. There's so many opportunities for education. Like I love teaching new parents how to breastfeed. I love like teaching 
dads how to swaddle babies. Like there's just so many things that you can teach your postpartum parents that I find it fills my shift up. Like I'm never bored <laughs> because there's so many things that you have to do. I love that postpartum nursing is less intense. When you are a labor and delivery nurse, you never know which way <laughs> things are gonna go. Like you could be having a beautiful strip that you're watching and then all of a sudden you have a D-cell and you gotta go quickly into action. Like you don't have a lot of time to stop and think you have got to intervene. And I just don't wanna, I don't wanna be like feeling so pressured to, oh my God. Like right now I am a manager or an assistant nurse manager on a labor and delivery unit. And from my office, I can see all of the fetal monitor strips. So I can watch whatever's going on in every room, although I'm sitting in my office. And sometimes I will be watching a strip and I start seeing that baby decel and I'm like, okay, let me see, baby, come on back up, come on back up. And we know if the baby doesn't come up, we gotta do all the interventions. And then maybe if none of those interventions work, you are headed back to the OR. And I just don't have time for that kind of stress in my life <laughs> right now. Although I know what to do in those situations, like I'm just like my nerves, <laughs> my nerves are just the older I've gotten and the more seasoned of a nurse I've become, I just don't feel compelled <laughs> to want to run to those C-section cases, like the uncertainty of it all. It's just no longer an enjoyable part of this part of nursing for me. Now, there are people who have been nurses for as long as I've been a nurse that absolutely love all of that adrenaline rush. They, they live for that. They live for all that stuff. Look, I've gotten into the cons. I'm supposed to be talking about the pros, <laughs> but it is less intense. So there are emergencies that happen in postpartum. Like the biggest emergency would be a postpartum hemorrhage where the mom is bleeding too much after delivery. So in those situations, you have to act fast as well. But it is more of a, most of the time, it's more of a controlled environment and it's just not as dramatic as having to run for a strip where you have a d-cell and you got to run to the or it's just less intense in my opinion and the next pro on my list is you get to spend more time with baby and as a postpartum nurse you get to be a little more hands-on with the baby when you're a labor nurse you do get to assess babies but normally after the first two to three hours after birth if you work on a labor and delivery unit your baby and your mom is gonna go to postpartum. So you no longer have that experience of being hands-on with the baby. And I love that part. Like, you know, babies are just so cute and so yummy. I get my baby fix when I get to work on a postpartum unit. I just love that aspect of it. So those would be the pros for me. Now let's talk about some of the cons of being a postpartum nurse, which I kind of already talked about, but let's see what's on my list. So the adrenaline rush is there is no adrenaline rush unless you're attending to that postpartum hemorrhage. And really, you don't want to have a postpartum hemorrhage because that is your emergency that occurs during the postpartum period. So if you're a person who loves the rush, you're not gonna get that in postpartum. It is more of a slower pace. You can kind of you know, plan out your shift of how you're gonna assess your patients and who you're gonna prioritize over the other. So you don't have that fast paced environment. And some nurses don't really like that. Like I teach or I used to teach nursing students and whenever I took them to the hospital, my students always wanted to see a delivery. But really, you get the hands-on part when you're assigned to the postpartum floor because on labor and delivery as a student, most of it is just observation. You don't get to do assessments, really, and you don't get to learn as much. So everybody in my clinical group 
wanted to see a delivery. And the moment that they went through the clinical experience on labor and delivery and they couldn't see a delivery, they were very disappointed. But, you know, I had to bring them back and say, you know, we're here to learn how to take care of patients. And of course, you know, I want all students to be able to see a delivery. But the reality is sometimes even throughout a whole 12 hour shift, depending on how busy your unit is, you may not see a delivery. So that is a very real thing. So the pace is slower. And one of the biggest complaints from my students would always be, we're bored. It's nothing to do here because typically on a postpartum unit, you're only assessing your patient once per shift. You're only doing your full head to toe assessment once per shift. The rest of the time there, you are medicating your patient, you're educating your patient, you are doing discharge teaching, you may be doing admission teaching. So lots and lots and lots of teaching. So if that's not your thing, then postpartum probably is not going to be a great fit for you. Another con for postpartum nursing is you may have three to six couplets. And that all depends on your hospital. Like in California, I believe the max at most hospitals for postpartum is three couplets. Anything out of that, you may be out of ratio. I have worked in hospitals in California where they have gone up to four couplets, but the nurses are really accustomed to taking care of three couplets and a couplet is a mom and a baby. If you can imagine having three sets of moms and babies, that's six patients. Some hospitals like more Southern regions can go up to six couplets. So as a postpartum nurse, you can have a really heavy workload, which can make for you know fatigue and burnout as a nurse because that's a lot imagine if you had five couplets and they're all first time moms, first time parents, and they all need something. Like they're constantly calling you all shift to help them feeding, help with breastfeeding, bottle feeding, helping new parents don't know how to change diapers, like helping with positioning the baby, helping with swaddling the baby. Like you can have a really, really busy shift with four to six couplets. And I know that from experience. And I'm no stranger to hard work, but it's just that who wants to work that hard? Like you wanna go to work and enjoy what you do and not feel overworked and feel drained when you're leaving. Like to me, that is just not a good feeling. It is just, you know, it makes you not wanna show up for your shift and be a great nurse for your patients. So just to tie this all up in a nice little bow, do I think postpartum nursing is hard? I absolutely do not think that it's hard. I really think that it really comes down to the type of nurse that you are, what you're looking for in your career, whether or not mother baby or postpartum nursing would be a good fit for you. You have to consider it's not gonna be really tremendously exciting in terms of lots going on, but it will be exciting that you'll be there helping parents learn how to take care of this baby. Like you really can be very impactful in families and being that person that's able to, you know, help them with that new little life that they have. And most often they are so grateful when you are able to help them, you know, so many times that I've helped a dad learn how to swaddle the baby because they are so hyper-focused on <laughs> swaddling this baby that they are so super grateful when you're able to teach them how to do that because that's a skill that they're going to take home with them. Like teaching a mom how to breastfeed when she's having difficulty, you know, establishing a latch for her baby. Like that is meaningful to that mom because she's going to go home with that skill. So, you know, it can be very rewarding in that aspect. But, you know, if you're looking for more of the excitement when it comes to maternal child nursing, you might want to look into labor and delivery because you probably will not get that experience as a postpartum nurse. But I think that, you know, it really fills my cup 
to be able to, like I said, be there for those parents to kind of, you know, help them because they're always so nervous about, are they going to hurt the baby? You know, are they being too rough, not gentle enough? You know, they need lots of reassurance. So if you have that patience, you need a lot of patience as a postpartum nurse because you're going to get the same questions over and over. And you're going to feel like, you know, I just taught you this last time I was in here. But, you know, they may not retain it right away. So you need to have, you know, a passion for helping new parents. And I think postpartum is the easier part of maternal child nursing because it is less stressful and I think more enjoyable. Now, if you had asked me this question hmm, 10 years ago, I would have given totally different advice. But as I look back at my career, I definitely would say 10 out of 10, I recommend being a postpartum nurse. So if you have any questions, please um, drop them in the comment section. If this video was helpful for you, leave a yellow heart. I appreciate that. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and come back for the next Ask Nurse Shawnee. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.